I got cut off in my last video. But let's go ahead and start with Crooked Star. Really proud of how this character turned out. The camera's not going to do him justice at all. I had to break the jaw off the LPS figure and completely remold it into a crooked spot and give him a tooth. Give him his enamel hair. Not enamel clay. This is clay hair. Now, as you can see off camera, he got a little chip on his ear because my dog thought he was a toy. Yeah, she's going to be punished for a while. But I'm going to go ahead and fix it. All she did was just chip off a little bit of the paint with her tooth, so it's no big deal. My dog's only two, so she's still technically a puppy. She doesn't know any better. It's actually kind of why I got cut off, <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and fix that. I would toss him down and throw him in the water, but I don't really want to because uh, with that chip, I just got to make sure he's done right. Evidently, these are pretty indestructible except in a dog's mouth. Now, now there's Rainflower. Now, I gave her a flower because of her name. And actually, I didn't know this. I thought she was a cat, but apparently her LPS model is actually a Pomeranian. I did not know that. I assumed that she was a cat. I think with most LPS models, you can't really tell. So that's Rainflower. Now, I'm going to show the two brothers that I'm very proud of. These were actually recently done. This is Hawk Frost. I did his eyes. I'm going to fix that one right there. Now, Hawk Frost wasn't too hard to do. I added his hair with clay and added his scars, which were kind of hard because I wanted to get them all on his muzzle. I also had to fill in his mouth because he had a big old smile on his face and I was like, oh no, Hawk, Hawk Frost can't have that. Made him have his snowy white underbelly, bushy tail. Now the thing about Hawk Frost is they say he looks exactly like Bramble Claw and Tiger Star. So here's Bramble Claw. Since it says that they look alike, I use the same model. There's his hair. Kind of like Hawk Frost, but I gave it a little bit more of a, a little bit more of a trim. So the difference is, is he's got a scar on his shoulder and he's got light brown paws, underbelly, muzzle, and eyes. Again, I did his eyes. And again, I had to fill in his mouth because the smile for me was just kind of distracting. Now again, you can't really tell that these aren't cat models. They were actually dog models. But for some reason, they seem to work good as cat models. And there's the two brothers. Now, Bramble Star's girlfriend is Squirrel Flight. Now, Squirrel Flight was one of my first. So, she's from a squirrel model because I needed the squirrel tail. But as you can see, she was one of my first, and you can tell. The ears are a little bit off, but otherwise, it's, she came out okay. I had to add her um, front legs and the uh, tuft right here. Because the original Spore model obviously didn't have that. She's got her beautiful green eyes. And her beautiful long eyelashes. She's so irresistible. And her sister. Leaf Pool. Leaf Pool was fun to work on. Yeah. 
again, I did her eyes, but I think I'm going to change her eyes. I can't remember on Warriors Wiki if it said they were amber or yellow, but either way, I think, I think I'm going to change them, make them look a little bit better. Again, sometimes I go a little overboard on the eyelashes, but I really want them to be well-defined. I might also go over her again with another coat of the um, nail polish. Now the cat that Leaf Bull fell in love with was Crowfeather. Crowfeather, I originally was just going to paint him solid black, but on Warrior's Wiki it said he's not solid black. And he's kind of got some gray tinge to his fur. So I kind of went with that. I also went with this mold, the grumpy mold, because he's a grumpy cat. Now his eyes I didn't paint. That was the original paint that came with him. There's his chest. You can see a lot of the detail in his chest. And here's his mate, Nightcloud. Well, his mate now. I wanted to make Nightcloud beautiful because I'm not going to lie, I feel sorry for her. I really do feel sorry for her in the book. Now, I tried to give her some eye definition here because I didn't want her to be just solid black. As you can see, I'm not completely done with her. But I wanted to give her some real pretty definition. Again, I did her eyes. Got to fix that right there. She's one of the ones that isn't completely done yet. But I love her solid black color. And together, they had a son named Breeze Pelt. Breeze Pelt. Breeze Pelt just killed a cat, apparently, because that's red. And I don't know where the red came from. Is that red? I don't know. Maybe I accidentally put red on there. Oh, you know what that is? That's orange. Oh, that's orange because I was working on his eyes. Oh, I must have done that and not realized it. Okay. Oh, I thought he went to the dark forest and killed a cat. Oh, there we got the yellow paint. There's the yellow paint. I really got to be more careful when I paint. Anyway, there's Breeze Pelt. Who needs some makeup because I accidentally got some of his yellow and orange paint on him. Poor Breeze Pelt. So, Le Leaf Pool and Crow Feathers Children, it's these three right here. And unfortunately, I made them with the old nail polish brand I was telling y'all about that made them crack and I'm so upset because I'm probably going to have to completely redo them because unfortunately with Lion Blaze and Jay Feather, it's cracking. Like you can see it on Jay Feather clear as day. Poor Jay Feather. But here is Lion Blaze. He was made after a lion model. I had to add the fur to his tail. And see, see the cracking in that horrible, oh, it's just horrible. Luckily, my new nail polish brand doesn't do that, but that's terrible. Because look at his paint job. I mean, I had to blend colors and make him have like a sunny coat. And oh, it's damaging the ear. Oh, no. I was so proud of how he turned out too. And now I'm going to have to repaint him. Or at the very least, make another model. Poor kitty. Still proud of how he turned out, though. And then we have Holly Leaf. Now, again, like with Night Cloud, I wanted to give Holly Leaf some eye definition. I didn't want her to be completely black, but at the same time, I didn't want the eye definition to be completely gray. So it's kind of got some black strands in there to make it more lifelike. Again, guys, the camera is not gonna do. It's not going to do these warriors any real justice because there's a lot of detail that went into it that just looks a little strange on camera. But there's her hair. I used enamel to give her some de definition in the hair. Not enamel, clay. I used clay to give her some definition in the hair. Now I didn't do her eyes. Her eyes naturally came like that. I just did the eyelashes and the gray part. And she's not completely done because i got to finish that. Now, poor JJ, I gotta make a new model of him because 
So JJ was one of my first ones. And as you can see, his body looks okay. It's got some cracks here and there, but for the most part, it's okay. The back of his poor little head. Now, again, this was done by the old nail polish. Look how bad it cracked him up. It's so sad. His poor little ear. And I use the grumpy model because you all know why. Come on. So for his eyes, I tried to make the J color and give him like some film over it. But yeah, unfortunately, I'm just going to have to make a new model of him. Poor little JJ. I'm sorry, JJ. So to move on to another medicine cat, Cinder Pelt. I love Cinder Pelt. Cinder Pelt and I have a lot in common. She's one of my favorite medicine cats. And I added some white in her ears because I saw that on Warrior's Wiki. Again, didn't have to touch her eyes. And there's a little leg. I didn't know if I should put pink lines across her leg or just make the leg pink, but I thought the pink lines looked a little bit better. Again, all I did was give her eyelashes some definition. But I'm glad that she turned out the way she did. And let's see. This is her little, this is Cinder Paul. And I did do her leg. And again, she needs to be redone because right there, it's starting to crack. But I didn't have to do the eyes on this one either. But there she is, little Cinder Paul. And actually, I made a little thistle claw that I forgot to show you guys. His head can still move. And again, I used enamel for the spiky fur. And I had to do his eyes. Now, another medicine cat who was kind of a pain to make was Yellow Fang. I love Yellow Fang too, but man, she was a pain. So, I had to get a fat, a flat-faced model from LPS. And again, I used the enamel to give her fur some definition since she's got some long fur. And I added that little piece of hair. And she's got her scars all over her body and I did her eyes her eyes actually came out pretty good I'm pretty satisfied with the way her eyes came out now her son Broken Star was another pain because with Broken Star again I had to find a fat a flat face model here's all the hair uh oh got some yellow paint I'm glad I'm making this video. It's kind of showing me what I need to uh, touch up on. So yeah, as you can see, his fur needed a lot of definition. There's his broken tail. I tried to give his fur a little bit of definition and a little bit of detail by adding in some light brown to his face. And I went ahead and added the scars across his eyes that made him blind. So one of my favorite warrior cats that I did was Spotted Leaf. I'm very proud of this cat. I really worked hard on her. Uh, a lot of detail went into her. Just going to let all that detail sink in because luckily I didn't have to do her eyes. Again, all I did was the eyelashes. But I really wanted her to look like the one on Warrior's Wiki. So I did my very best with the detail work. She's a cat that I could just put on here and just let you guys just watch her because there's so much detail to her. 
Now, I haven't done Tiger Star yet, but I have done Dark Stripe. Dark Stripe, I gave him the grumpy look because he was kind of a grump in the series and constantly teased Firestar about being a kitty pet. And again, that was just a little spot that I missed. I need to repaint that. So I made his eyes gold because I think on Warriors Wiki it said they were yellow. So I wanted to give him gold because it's scary and intimidating. Even though he's not a very scary or intimidating person. Cat. Cat. Here's Lionheart. Lionheart is an old one of mine. He was actually done from a Scottish Terrier model. And there's his green eyes. His eyes came out really good. Could be because his eyes are bigger than most, but I added the fur with clay and enamel. As you can see, I got to touch up a little bit here. Sometimes I get into a, I get in a hurry painting these because I'm in college and I need to slow down because clearly I'm getting paint on them because I do multiple ones at a time. Like I sit them on a table like this and I do multiple ones at a time and sometimes the paint gets on some of the characters. Because that, that right there is paint. That's somebody's paint. I was pretty proud of how he turned out. I think he's... I just, I picture, for some reason, I picture Lionheart with a mustache. I don't know why. I know he's a cat and that sounds stupid, but I, I do. I picture him with a mustache for some reason. That's why I made him out of this one. Now, this one is Dovewing. Now, with Dovewing, it's said on Warriors Wiki that she's got some white splotches. And I tried to make it look like fur as much as humanly possible, but I might redo it. Anyway, her eyes are what I'm most proud of. So her eyes, I did the inside blue and left the outside green because there was so much confusion on her eyes. And I thought, well, most cats have multicolored eyes anyways. So I left the outsides green. I don't know if my phone's going to zoom in on it. I just thought that was funny. Now her sister Ivy Pool. Oh my god, I am so proud of how Ivy Pool turned out. Doesn't she look so cool, you guys? Oh god, she looks so freaking cool. I need to touch up on that black paint. I kind of went crazy with some of the black paint and it got everywhere. Those aren't cracks, just so you know. That's just black paint. But I love the way she turned out. I love her eyes. I was so proud of her eyes. I love her hair. I added all that hair to give her some defined character. Doesn't she look like a punk rocker? It's awesome. I love her. Did her eyelashes. I might redo that one because it needs to be a little tiny bit longer. I loved I love Ivy Pool. I love the way Ivy Pool turned out. Oh, love this cat. So the next two cats. Here is Fern Cloud. I didn't have to do anything with her eyes because they already came green, but I just did the eyelashes. Fern Cloud, I loved Fern Cloud. I added some hair with clay, give her some definition. And I gave her spots and stripes because on Warriors Wiki, she kind of has both. But again, I tried to make it look like fur. I don't want to, I tried making the spots look perfect, but they just didn't look that perfect to me. Now I have to end this video because I'm going over time, but I'll pick up where I left off in the next one.